Now listen, if you learn the correct way to do this, Every puck will seem like it's going to hit you. We're going to work all about positioning, okay? It's all about positioning today. We're going to do a demonstration today that works on our angle, our depth, and our being square of the puck and how it affects our play. Right now, is Eli able to reach all four corners of the net? Is he touching the four leashes? I'll come on this side so you guys can see since you're all over here. Yes or no? No. All right. So, you hear all of your coaches tell you, come, at, come off your goal line, top of the crease. Let's move him forward. Stay in your stance, do not change your stance. Come forward to the top. How about now? Did he get a little bit closer to the leashes? Yes, all right, come a little bit further out. Okay, he's just above the top of the crease. Okay, now go in your butterfly. So he can be in his butterfly and he's able to stop literally every shot that is going into that net. What do you guys notice about a shot that is going to the top corners? His gloves are up. He's able to reach this crossbar from being here. Slide back. When he's in his stance, if I was to shoot the puck along either this leash or this leash, without moving his hands, is he able to reach that shot right now without moving? No. Now move up to the top of the crease. Watch this. Now again, your butterfly. Is he able to reach these leashes now? So what do you guys notice? Look at this. He's able to touch the crossbar without even raising his hands. All he did was move forward. See how the crossbar right now goes across there? Any shot that goes above my stick will hit what? Will it hit the net or it hit the glass above it? The glass, and do we have to worry about it? No, so what happened to the net? Did it get bigger or smaller? It got smaller, making it harder for the shooter and easier for us. You guys didn't do anything different other than reposition your depth. Do you guys see that and why it's so important? Does that make sense to everybody? Now, one other thing with depth too. There's two ways to adjust your depth. One, we saw he moved his body forward and back. What's the second way to adjust your depth? I want you to push your hands forward, okay? Now try and reach the four leashes. So we talked about having our body facing the puck to be square, okay? As the puck moves left and right and your angle changes, ideally in a perfect world, if we are positioned correctly, we should be able to stop almost every shot with our chest because that means we have the right depth, the right angle, and we're facing the puck. Being square applies when you're on your feet or when you're in your butterfly as well. If you're down at the top of your crease or on an angle and you're gonna, the puck goes out to the middle of the ice, if you just slide over, are you square right now to the middle of the ice? No, the first thing you have to do is you gotta rotate. So you wanna rotate your body by using your head and your hands. Now my belly button is square and I'm gonna push over to the new angle, all right? So it's very important to get your, your head, your eyes find where you gotta go. Get your hands going to the target because when your shoulders, like Coach Sam said, when your shoulders go to the target, now it's getting your belly button to the target. Now when you stop moving, you'll be square to the puck, okay? That's why it's very important to go head, hands, and then feet. All right, does that make sense? Every time we move either forward, back, left, or right, we can either cover more or less as long as we make the right choice, okay? Everything that's inside these four leashes, we need to stop or have to cover. Everything outside goes wide in net. Now watch this. Does everybody see how the net just got smaller? All the shooter did was move to the right, that's it. Okay, so see how that is? Now, for Eli, it's gonna be even easier. Eli, go step in there. Notice how when he was at the top of the crease in his stance before, he had to move his arms a little bit. The shooter moves this way, now he's touching every leash without even moving. You guys see that? Now watch this, we're gonna move again, okay? Look at this, Eli almost can't even fit inside the leashes right now, right? So. It gets, our job gets a little bit easier. Now he's been at the top of the crease the whole time, right? What do you think he could do since he's a little bit bigger and he, he's kind of, he could go backwards. Yes, Mateo, it's perfect. So go ahead, move back a little bit. Look at that. Now he's got a little more room and he's still covering all four shots, right? Eli, step out. Who's got their gear on, Xavier? Xavier, go in there. Okay, even Xavier, when positioned correctly, he can reach the crossbar, look how higher that crossbar is. Okay, now he might have to be a little bit further out in front with a little more depth, but he can reach it. He's the same size right now as Eli was in that net. Do you guys see that? 
we're gonna move one more time. Now here's where it gets a little confusing when the puck goes in the corner, okay? So now look at this. Everybody kind of gather around behind me. Look at what a shooter and the puck is gonna see. Guy Ryan, you can step out real quick. Look at this, look how small of a sliver this is. Now, if a good shooter, a good hockey player, if they have just this much option, what do you, would a good guy try to do with the puck? Pass it where? To the other side or the middle of the ice, right? Somehow that puck should go to the middle. So now do you understand why coaches get so mad at goalies when they give up goals from here? A shooter almost can't hit the net without a goalie there. See how small? If you guys master your, your positioning, you guys can fill up that whole net whether you're six years old like Uriah or you're as big as Jake over there, okay? Or as big as Vazzy. You guys might do slight different things, but if you understand the concepts, you guys will fill up the net like a jelly donut and no pucks can go through you.